I literally took a nap because I didn't think anything was going to come out. And then they brought this card out. So, eighty. Oh, what it is, boys. Uh, guys, we have the new uh, Labotka to check out today. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. That's going to be later because obviously I didn't expect them to release a card at 6.30. Probably the first time they've done that in, I would say, years. I mean, like sometimes they release a car like an hour after or like two, but like 30 minutes. I don't know about that one. Anyways, five foot seven, medium high, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. Honestly, like the work rate is really nice to work with. Uh, player traits, he has speed dribbler, outside foot shot. Uh, so a shadow, this is a shadow chemistry style player. La vodka. Okay, so. Shadow Chemistry style, 99 acceleration, 88 for sprint speed. Defensive stats will be increased. With the medium high work rates, you do want to use him in a mainly defensive way. Uh, he does have shooting capabilities. So if you do get into an outside foot shot opportunity, he could be pretty decent at hitting those. Uh, dribbling is in a decent area considering the fact that he is short and lean. Minus is definitely very nice for a card like this. Um, passing on the card also going to be in a pretty good area. This card looks really interesting. Honestly, for the price range of one team, 38k, you really can't go wrong with it. Because defense is gonna be in a fantastic area. And he's the the main thing here is obviously the fact that he's five foot seven, short and lean minus. So it kind of makes you want to use him on a stay back cover center role in a 4-3-2-1 being played over on the right hand side as much as possible, right? It's kind of like what it feels like. Um but yeah. Physicality-wise, uh, it'll also be in a pretty decent area. You know, he's got some stamina, he's got some jumping to work with. So a couple of interesting stuff here and there. So let me let me go get the card real quick, and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, we just have a random Serie A team here. Um, yeah. So with Lobotka, we'll be using him in a 4-3-2-1, uh, playing through the middle position. Stay back while attacking cover center. We'll see how he plays in that position. Hopefully he's a beast. Worked out well enough. Oh, and I manually did well there too. My goodness, been bad. That's the back. Yep. Commits to the build up. White time shot, we still score. Let's go, Quadrado. Good stuff. The clearance. Quadrado wins that too. My boy doesn't, though. Win it again. Yeah. And then we have to keep trying it in the air. There we go. Well done. See, the pace was uh, really slow in that situation. Always got to be mindful of that. That's just Mbappe being Mbappe. Absolute beauty. figured oh and i thought i still wasn't gonna score eh i was like oh still not gonna give me that goal eh got to it Do damage. 
Yep, just gotta do that skill move to open up the space for the shot. Should have shot across there. There you go, a little bit of pressure on him. Beauty of a pass. Ah, uh, this game, I can't do this game, man. I can't, I can't. I can't, bro, I can't. I'm getting exhausted, man. I'm getting exhausted. Like that quick. Nice. Nice. Good job, good job. Couldn't get the playoff. Unlucky. Well positioned for the interception. And we scored from it. Nice. Good job, boys. Nice goal. Let's go. Lovely. Lovely. Wow, that actually worked. I think he did something there. That worked. Oh, for a throw-in? Should be ours, but that's just a mechanic in the new gen version of the game, so... Could have been bad. I'll take it though. Challenge. Good goal, boys. There we go. I say good goal, but that's just the meta in this game, right? So. Pass. Too close to the goalkeeper.
Good that uh, Lobotka can pass the ball as well as he does. Nothing there. Should be mine, but it's not. All done. there that was a brilliant pass wow that was so good Yeah, I just gotta do the small little, small little commitments there. Nice. You got a touch off. First time header, nice. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the team of the season Labotka card. Okay, so in regards to how this card performs in game, guys, uh, we obviously gave him a shadow chemistry style because we want him to be as good as possible defensively, right? So a couple things to mention. Uh, this card is not going to feel like a Verratti or anything like that when it comes to like the left stick because Verratti is that type of player where he's like very unique where. You know, even if you have him on stay back while attacking cover center, playing on that right side area, because of the high attacking positioning, like the card is kind of nuts to work with in that sense, right? Uh, Lobotka, a couple things that I noticed, right? So obviously as, you know, one of the main CDMs or, you know, defensive oriented players, uh, sometimes the sprint speed part of the card was a little bit too low. Obviously, if you're playing in a formation like the 4-3-2-1, 4-3-2-1 is a little bit more open. So you need pace in every single position, okay? So a card like Lobotka needs to be played in a more narrow formation. So 4-2-3-1, 4-1-2-2, two, two, that type of deal for you to be able to utilize him. It has to be like more narrow because of the fact that he's five foot seven um, with the way that he kind of performs in game, right? So sprint speed could be a problem from time to time. You can see that people will outpace him uh, when given the opportunity. Defensive animations wise, honestly, he didn't do that bad of a, of a job. Uh, you know what, for 30 something K as an SBC, you can't really go wrong with it. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, like the card's like 100K. Um, but like for 38K, you really can't go wrong with what he was doing in game. Uh, his passes were really well weighted. I definitely liked the passing of the card. Uh, shooting, you're not really going to get into shooting opportunities with this card unless you use him as an attacking oriented center mid. But I feel like at this point in this game, people are not really going to do that with a card like Lobotka, right? So um, it's one of those types of dudes where... Obviously, if I wanted to use a medium high work rate card on my team and I'm working with Serie A players, I would rather have Sandro Tonali, which we will be doing a review for because Sandro Tonali is very, very good, right? But Sandro Tonali is pretty much a good example of what I talk about because with pace, if you give this card a shadow, you know, he's 95, 99 with good defensive stats and 5'11", unique body type. You know, he has a bunch of things you can work with to make him as good as possible. On a shadow, I just feel like the sprint speed is a little bit low. Height is a little bit low for what he offers in game. But like I said, for 38k, the main purpose 
of unlocking this card is obviously to give you those Napoli links for a card that's going to be like decent enough. But obviously for the meta of the game, a person like Sandro Tonali will still be better to work with, right? So it's more for those Napoli links than it is for anything else, I would say. But it's still an okay card. It's not it's not hugely expensive. 38k is still okay to work with. So can't really go wrong with that. But again, Sandro Tonali is going to be the better option for sure. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.